Putin hasn't murdered 18 to 20 million people, and the scale of his abilities to cause grief uh, with the nuclear weapons aside is nothing like Stalin's. And so we have to be careful, right? Only Mao put bigger numbers on the board from a tragic point of view than Stalin. And numbers matter here. If we compare these singular figures, yeah, Mao killed more people than Stalin because Mao had more people to kill. The most amazing thing about Mao is he watched Stalin do it. He watched Stalin collectivize agriculture and famine result. He watched Stalin impose this communist monopoly and all of those people sent to prison or given a bullet in the back of the neck. He watched all of that, and then he did it again himself in do you, China. Do you think he saw the human cost directly? That that when you say he saw, do you think he was focused on the policies, or was he also aware distinctly as a human being of the human cost in the lives of peasants, in the, in the lives of the working class, in the lives of the poor? I think the prima facie evidence is that he didn't value human life. Otherwise, I don't think after seeing the amount of lives that were taken in the Soviet experiment, he would have done something similar after that. I think the answer, Lex, is it's very hard to get inside Mao's head and figure out what he was really thinking. But if you just look at the results that happened, the policies that were undertaken and the consequences of them, you would have to conclude that there was let's say, no value or little value placed on human life. Unfortunately, that's characteristic not only of communist dictators, right, of post-communist dictators as well, but the scale of the horrors that they inflict, as horrific as they are, just can't compare. And so we're in a situation where Eurasia, that is to say, the ancient civilizations of Eurasia, which would be Russia, Iran, China, all have some version of non-democratic, you know, illiberal autocratic regimes. And they're all pushing up against the greater power of the West in some form. Sometimes they coordinate their actions and sometimes they don't. But this is a very long-standing phenomenon, Lex, that predates uh, Vladimir Putin or Xi Jinping or the latest incarnation of the supreme leader in Iran. 